some of my viewer critters. <laughs> they like watching my crazy antics online. <laughs> Make, so that looks like they're making hybrid flexible links. I'm guessing that's PLA and CPU. And here we have the Delta Maker. They make nice big Delta printers or customize them for specific projects. Like this machine was designed for printing R2D2 domes. So they designed it around printing that dome. I think I might have to kill somebody because I want this hat. <laughs> um, that's cool. Here we have Filament One. I get to stalk them locally because they live right around the corner from me. <laughs> I love their clean filaments. That green is really nice too. And noob stuff. This is Tinkerology. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, speak up in here. Yeah. <laughs> so I've, I've seen you on uh, Twitter for a while now. We're just showing off some open SCAD. Check that out. So that's for changing your nozzle. That grabs your block. And then that grabs the nozzle. And you just turn it. How cool is that? Dive design, damn good design. Combining the, the old school leather work with the modern 3D printed padding. Thought that looked familiar. Yeah. Whoa. Now it's not metallic in any way. It's just it's just uh, glitter. Right. But it, which is metallic. It's nice. It's metallic you know, enough. But it's. show people your cool stuff. Because it is some cool stuff. Well, thank you. Oh, I love the lanterns. Yeah, all 3D printed. Except for the electronics. Yeah, I'm 3D printing professor and his wife. Yes! I'm having fun. Alright. She's seen some neat. 
it's orange. Yeah, the build materials for it is actually relatively low. Um, fully spec out, it's about four hundred dollars. And that's for quantum one. Yeah. Honestly, if I sell a kit, it's probably not going to be a whole lot different than that. What you're paying for is I've accumulated everything and stuck it in the box for it. Yeah. Well, the savings is your profit margin. Yes. And also, um, probably one of the hardest things for people to do is going to be the enclosure. Um, I have a large format laser cutter at home though, so it's not a easy for you. Yeah, it's it's fine. But like, if you got these cut from like, is it Pinoco you know, or whatever one of those like laser cutting services are, it'd be like. $80, dollars or I can do it for about half an hour. Oh wow, even the pen one's pretty cool. Yeah. Can you cut? Uh, I mean, yes. But there's a reason I called it the engraving and not the cutting way. It's not really meant to. Can I get it? Like this? I can do it. Usual prototypes is prototype number one, prototype number two. Um, and, uh, I started building whether I'm going to produce them or not. This thing's a cool looking monster. So, almost this entire printer is printed. Even the belt is printed. The Z rods are printed. That is so cool. I gotta get this done by tomorrow. It's more about that. Printing in ceramic. So you gotta think about like if you made a rope of clay and just held it between your hands. Yeah, and you can't snap dry it the way that you you know set plastic so fast. So uh, so I try to avoid the printing really. I have done a little. Look at I see 12 tools on this thing. Is there what? There's 13. Is there 12 tool, tool changes? 13. 13? One of the heads is removed. Wow. Spacing, right? <laughs> That's cool. Nice. <laughs> you have a YouTube channel? I do, yes. It's on the business card right there. Oh. You're welcome to take one. I will. That's cool. Thank you. Are you and where can my victims find you? I am DSK001. I am DSK001 underscore 3D at Instagram and Twitter. Nice. He's the one who made that cool enterprise model. Here we have tiny machines, new prototype machine from Formbot. If you don't mind paying a slightly premium price, you can buy Chinese printers from Tiny Machines and they will assemble them, build them, make them work right, and you'll have warranty and support for it. But you'll have to pay for that, of course. Worth it if you don't want to deal with the hassles.